So here's a six volt uh, ride-on toy for kids. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm modifying it for my nephew here. We're gonna run a 36 volt lithium battery. And then we have a converter here that's gonna reduce the voltage to whatever we set the dial at. So we'll probably have it around 12 volts. Um, but for this to work, uh, this will stay on as long as the battery is hooked up. So what I'm gonna do is, and then you're gonna have to press this uh, power button over here to turn it off and on. Um, so usually everything would be under the seat, but I want it to be able to control it without having to take off the seat every time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna cut a hole here in the back uh, to mount this converter. And then uh, next to it, I'm gonna have a off and on switch to disconnect it from the battery. Otherwise, it would, this LED would stay on all the time, or LCD. So yeah, first we're gonna cut the hole for the converter, and then we'll cut uh, another hole for the on and off switch next to it. Alright, so we got the holes cut out. Uh, it's not the cleanest, but the switch will cover most of it anyways. And then we have our switch here with the, the on and off power. Um, so how we did the wiring is from, this is the out, so this is the power that's going to go into the controller. Uh, put a two pin harness onto that. And then we did the, the opposite end uh, on the car itself. And then for the battery, what happens is this end will be XT60, which connects into the battery. And then one end, uh, the positive will go straight to the converter here. And the negative will be the switch. So from the battery, it goes into the switch. And then when you flip the switch, it completes the circuit back into the converter. So yeah, these holes are cut. And then there's another hole. <coughs> over here that was built into the car so then we're just gonna feed everything through this hole and then it'll connect to everything in here and then throw the seat back on and we're done. Oh yeah, now I just wanted to show you guys how it works. Uh, pretty much power it up. This will go here and then you gotta press the power button here. And that will send power to the controller. So pretty much originally this would be pretty sure six volts. Um, and then you gotta, with this controller, you gotta program it every so often. It's kind of random, but you just hold the M button and then off and on and you'll sync. So, this is at seven volts, so this is even higher than standard. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty slow car. Uh, I mean, it's made for kids, but now we have the ability to crank it up a little bit. So you can hear it getting faster as I turn this dial. Now we're at 10 volts. So I think... Um, I think 18 is what people were able to get out of this safely uh, before they start burning stuff up. So we'll just go, I think last time I tested it was at 14 uh, without any load, but it's pretty nice that now I could fine tune the, the voltage. So yeah, here's, here's a carton 14 volts 
or the uh, the ride on toy. And yeah, that's it. Um, maybe I'll clean this up uh, eventually, but the hole's kind of tight, so I just have to bind it up a little bit more. Same with this switch, so then everything would sit flush. Or maybe I'll uh, I'll go and add some hot glue around here just so it's more waterproof too or water resistant. But yeah, so uh, maybe I'll do a, I'll show a little video of it in action. So.